Good afternoon from Alpha Cars. My name is Tom, coming to you from our Northampton location, and today we're going to be taking a look at this 2017 Mercedes-Benz C300 Cabriolet. This C300 is showing just over 32,000 original miles, and if you would like to see a high-resolution, detailed photo set, please reference the listing at alphacars.com. There, of course, you will also find a free included Carfax report, alongside a long list of technical data related to the vehicle's remaining tire and brake life, as well as individual readings from each panel using our paint depth gauge. But today I'll take you on a quick condition overview on both the interior and the exterior, as well as showing you some of the vehicle's most notable features. Now we'll start here in the exterior looking at the absolutely gorgeous, brilliant blue metallic paint that's draped over the beautiful bodywork. Now you'll find an amazing metallic quality to the paint. And while you do have some minor swirl marks on the hood, very minor, largely the paint is in just stunning condition. Now I'll take you really close to the panel so as to look for any dings or dents as we make our way backwards past the driver's side of the vehicle. You do have a couple of very minor scratches here on this body line, but all the way to the back of the vehicle, largely it's in just amazing condition. And this paint and lighting like this today uh, just shines so beautifully and has so much depth. It's almost like three colors in one, the way the metallic behaves in the sunlight. Now taking a look at these amazing AMG 18-inch five-spoke wheels. They present absolutely beautifully and provide a great contrast not only to the blue paint, but also that shaved metal silver finish on the exterior of the wheel matches this satin trim on the upper portion of the vehicle very nicely. On both the wheels here on the driver's side, you'll find absolutely no curb rash to report. And hidden behind the front wheel, you'll notice some larger front brakes. Uh, those rotors are drilled for better cooling, and you have some nice silver calipers to match that wheel finish. Now taking a look at the front fascia of the vehicle, absolutely gorgeous design on the headlights. I love that daytime running light, that LED strip carrying from the inner to the far outer corner of the headlight. Same goes for the passenger side. You'll find absolutely no oxidation, scratching, discoloration, really any imperfections on those headlights. They look absolutely stunning. Now this vehicle from the factory was fitted with over $11,000 worth of extra options over the MSRP. And one of those you can see here at the front is this beautiful AMG package front grille. They call it the diamond grille in a chrome finish. And it gives it, in my opinion, a far more expensive and kind of a unique look on a C300, especially when compared to the other available grills from Mercedes. Now here in the center of the grille, of course, you'll find that nice satin silver trim matching that convertible surround trim that I showed you earlier and a couple of chrome accents, and of course that Mercedes emblem just in the center. Now the reason that's so large and uh, has that glossy finish to it is because that doubles as a sensor for uh, a lot of your driver assistance features like your radar guided cruise control, as well as your lane keep assist. Very, very nice to see the way they integrated that so well into the front end styling of the vehicle. Of course, as well on the lower portion, you will have noticed that amazing chrome front splitter. It's got a very nice finish with minimal wear. I've seen on so many of these C300s that this panel is just completely torn up by rocks kicked up from the road and it has chipping and flaking uh, chrome finish. So this one, by comparison, it looks very, very nice, especially on these outer edges. You can see minimal wear to be found there. Now that we're here on the passenger side, we'll start by taking a look at this front wheel. Again, absolutely no curb rash to report. And going really close to the body panel here. Again, absolutely no dings or dents to be found here on the passenger side. And of course here in the rear wheel, it is in equally stunning condition to the other three. All of the wheels present very nicely on the C300. Now here at the rear of the vehicle, of course taillight lenses, very, very nice condition. And you do have some chrome badging here, of course the C300 showing you the model name uh, of this particular vehicle. You do have your Mercedes emblem in the, uh, in the center there, which doubles as the backup camera. That Mercedes emblem will actually rotate into the vehicle and present the backup camera, but when you're not using the camera, it can stow it away and really clean up the look here at the back. And lastly, you do have that 4MATIC badge that of course delineates the all-wheel drive system that was optioned to this particular vehicle, which as we know in New England, uh, can really make the difference uh, between driving the vehicle for only the summer or being able to take it through the winter uh, and really get the full enjoyment out of your investment. So we absolutely love to see that on this model. Now looking at the rear bumper, you'll find the paint to be in very nice condition. You also have these beautiful chrome exhaust tips flanking a nice body color matched center diffuser panel, which adds a little bit more of an aggressive look to the rear of the vehicle. Lastly, here on the exterior, 
you'll notice that the convertible top is not finished in the traditional color that you'd expect to see, which would be like a satin black. This particular top was optioned to be a navy blue color with this beautiful contrasted stitching, and it matches the exterior body color very nicely. It complements it so well, and in my opinion, when you're driving around with the roof up, just adds so much to the exterior styling here. Very unique option. I've seen very few of these Mercedes finished in blue with the blue top to match, and I think it's a very nice option. But my favorite part of this vehicle happens to be the interior because the way it was specced with this amazing saddle brown with some gorgeous wood trim and silver accents is just unbelievable. So let's check it out real quick. As you can see, this seat, the outer bolster is just in stunning condition. Now on a uh, sport, sporty seat with an aggressive bolster, you'll be so accustomed to seeing this bolster just chafed and torn up and, uh, and have a lot of rash from people sliding in and out, but that is not present on either bolster on either of these seats. The seats are in amazing condition and the leather feels amazing to the touch. You also have some gorgeous contrasted stitching and that nice dark gray finish carrying all the way to the seat bottom. You also have adjustable lower thigh support as you can see in the front just there. Making our way inside. I'm gonna start the vehicle using this nice start stop switch just here, key is in my pocket, and we're gonna see the Mercedes-Benz logo as the infotainment system boots up just there. As you can see, the gauge cluster has fired up. If you see any flashing on the gauge cluster, that is only due to the, uh, the camera effect, but to the human eye, they look just perfect. And here in the center console, the infotainment screen is fired up. Of course, you do have navigation, nice color, high quality display as well as a nice reverse camera. Now I know that these look strange on camera from experience, so I'll try to find an angle that showcases it properly, but to the human eye, it looks great. So you have this angle of the reverse camera, as well as an available second option just here, which shows you a much wider perspective of what you're reversing near, so that's very nice. And of course, when I put it in park and that display goes away, so does the rear camera in the back. That's gonna hide behind that Mercedes emblem, as I mentioned before. So taking a look uh, at the dashboard and center console area, of course, starting up high on the dashboard, you have this amazing contrasted stitching carrying across the whole dashboard and it flows beautifully into the door panel, as you can see. And the door panel is almost entirely covered with leather just here. Of course, that nice two-tone transition from the black leather to the saddle brown in, uh, interior. You'll notice on the unlock switch, you do have uh, minor wear there on the unlock button, but it does function exactly as designed. And we'll cover these details in just a moment. But taking a look here, you do have your climate controls with that kind of a, a retro rounded off look. I think they look just awesome and they complement the interior very nicely, especially when just behind you'll find that matching silver trim to the climate control vent trim. Now we have this control panel here. The top portion is for your climate controls. All of these switches look and feel beautiful and they function exactly as intended. Here on the lower portion, you have your infotainment controls uh, flanking a gorgeous analog clock. And you'll notice this wood trim just has so much depth and a really amazing color <clears throat> that complements the saddle brown leather just so, so nicely. And I love the way they arranged it with the grain carrying down the center console. Uh, it kind of looks like it, it flows into the infotainment controller here. It's just a really nice touch from Mercedes, especially with this really thin silver trim surrounding your cup holders and power outlet. I think that was just a very nice trim and it adds a very high quality feel and look to the interior. Just here you will have noticed your infotainment controller, uh, which is the center portion of the controls and that's going to control everything you need just up here or you can use physical buttons if you so choose. You also have your drive mode selector just there, auto start stop and your volume and radio power. Also this lower switch, if you find it a bit of a pain because this is a coupe, if you find it a bit annoying to have to reach back and all the way over your shoulder to reach that seatbelt, I can just push this small button here and you will notice the vehicle presents my seatbelt to me in a much easier to reach area. Uh, that's just a nice convenience feature and a good thought from Mercedes. <clears throat> Take a look at your steering wheel. You do have all of the controls in wonderful shape as well as some silver trim to complement the other silver elements of the interior. You also have these beautiful gear selector paddles just behind the wheel uh, that have a nice feel to them. And just to the left, you have some driver assistance controls. Now, as I mentioned before, this panel, not only does it have your conveniently placed seat adjustment uh, with memory functionality, but you also have these two controls. Of course, on the left, you'll know heated seat as you would expect. But on the right, that second uh, 
switch there actually controls what Mercedes refers to as the air scarf. Now that's this portion just here and it can be easily adjusted for your comfort by adjusting the headrest using the power control just there. And this is going to blow a nice stream of hot air over your neck. Of course there are three settings so you can adjust how much or how little but it does an amazing job at keeping you warm while driving in colder, uh, colder climates or uh, a colder evening. Uh, it's gonna keep you so much warmer and really, really does a great job to extend how long you can drive in the season with the roof down. And speaking of putting the roof down, I'm gonna use these controls just here behind my infotainment controller to do just that. Of course, I will note small amount of chipping there on this silver trim, uh, but here using this controller, you will notice the windows all drop away automatically. You'll notice the bodywork folding away in the back. And all of the fabric on the interior of this roof finds its place very nicely. Absolutely no strange snags or folds in the fabric. And that bodywork very gently and gracefully finds its way home. You see the picture of the vehicle showing me that I have completed the operation. Also a nice feature to show you is that you do have this switch on the far left, which at one time operates all four windows both up and down and it does have an automatic down functionality as well so they all drop down very easily so next up i'm going to pop the hood take you on a quick tour of the engine bay and we'll cover a couple more elements of the inside all right so we'll take a look at the engine bay just here as you can see engine idling very happily here you'll notice all of the plastics very very clean all of the metal construction here at the front of the vehicle showing minimal if any real corrosion uh, all of the hardware even the more intricate connections like you'll see just here uh, just looking perfect not showing any corrosion or signs of real wear now this is a very nice powertrain to be in a vehicle in this segment you know it's a very small vehicle as mercedes tend to come and this four-cylinder turbo provides not only you know pretty decent horsepower figure at 241 but the torque is very, very impressive thanks to that turbocharger. You're going to get 273 pounds-feet of torque, which in my opinion really makes that horsepower number irrelevant. It provides power so early in the rev range, and when you uh, made it to the beautiful automatic transmission in this Mercedes, you really have power everywhere you need it. And while it definitely pushes this vehicle along and can really provide a fun and sporty driving experience, it's also going to be very efficient and uh, friendly to you at the gas pump, which we all know uh, is becoming even more and more critical nowadays. Very nice option having that four cylinder in the C300. Now taking a quick look at the rear seating area. As you can see, I fold that seat ahead and it's going to automatically slide forward to allow easier passage to the rear. You'll notice equally well appointed rear seating area just here. The stitching looks just as nice as it does in the front and you also have your own climate control vents just there. You also do have matching Burmeister audio sound system speakers just there which complement the styling very nicely. And you'll notice when I lay that seat back it's going to slide itself back into place. I am going to put the roof up to show you that the operation works equally well but very quickly I'd like to take you on a quick walk around to the vehicle so as to note how beautiful it looks with the top down. Absolutely gorgeous styling here from Mercedes, especially with that coupe body style. You get the different rear end than you do in the sedan, making the coupe even more appealing in my opinion. But real quick, let's take a quick step back into the interior and I'm going to put the roof up using this switch. You'll notice the body panel finding its way up to allow passage of the top. All of that fabric neatly finding its way and stretching out to be nice and tight as it clamps down in the back. Now the operation is complete. I just pulled that window switch I mentioned earlier and we are back to the roof being up. One last note of the interior, I know I've been here for a while, but the Burmeister audio sound system, not only does it provide those absolutely gorgeous silver speaker grills, but it sounds just unbelievable. Uh, and it really is one of the leading premium sound systems available in this whole segment of automobiles. Uh, so I absolutely think it's a crucial option when looking at C300s. Thankfully, this one is fitted with it. So now we'll make our way just in the interior. I can use this trunk switch to pop the trunk for me. So 
pistol pop in the trunk, you'll find the original window sticker just there listing all of the options that I had mentioned before, laminated nicely. You also have your original AMG floor mats, all just in beautiful condition as well. And when the roof is in the upward position, I can easily just stow this panel up, which is gonna give me even more space. But of course, if you wanna put that top down, you will need to pull that down. Now that's gonna limit how much cargo you can put in the vehicle because that space will be occupied by the soft top itself. They do that to provide more space for the rear passengers uh, and the trade-off is having a little bit less space for your luggage while the top is down. But when the top is up, there's plenty of room. So if you have any further questions related to the C300 Cabriolet, please reference the listing at alphacars.com and there you will find all of the relevant contact information. Thank you so much for your time and have a wonderful rest of your day. We hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.